bang. Yes. Do you agree there's a big bang, the start of the universe? Well, the universe as we know it, yeah. Has a beginning, right? Yeah. So it's the big bang, isn't it? The sec second... Well, let, let's just finish this conversation uh, first because we've been building it up, isn't it? And then you can jump in later. what I'm saying. The conversation has to finish. I can finish it right now. Not necessarily. I can, not though, you, brother, But man. you can have another conversation. If you want to finish that one, you can finish that one. But this one, we want to keep it going. Yeah. Okay, so... Do you believe that we come by chance? As a simplistic, however. Yeah. Yeah. So, chance itself is something which is arbitrary and it's something that's non-material. There's a there's a fallacy called the fallacy of reification, yeah, which is taking something immaterial and giving it material properties. Yeah. So chance itself is not a creating force. Chance is an explanation of things. For example, you would never say the roll of a dice created such and such thing. Right, right, For right. example, the rolling of the dice didn't cause the dice to roll. Right. Do you see? Or in other words, laws and uh, chance, these things don't create things. These require something to do it and then people add chance, etc, etc to it. For example, gravity or the law of motion. Somebody that's, you know, the ball moving. The law of motion didn't cause the ball to move. Gravity. Gravity itself didn't cause the lamppost to fall. Yeah, these are all explanations of how it fell, but the agency element is still there. Make sense? Do you want me to unpack it a bit more? Yeah. Okay, so when, for example, people say chance, how did this happen? Or oh, it happened by chance. Chance itself is not a material thing. It doesn't do anything. It's an explanation. It's not a doing, it's not a verb. Yeah, to put it simplistically. So when, for example, you say, oh, X baked the cake. Okay, but exothermic reaction is the explanation of how that cake formed in the oven, but it doesn't explain who baked the cake. So it's the same with chance. People saying, oh, chance did it. Chance is unconscious, unguided force. And to say that, look, things came together and we have Anna, we have symmetry. We have objective ways of measuring beauty in our creation. To associate that to chance, I would be forced to ask what other chance can create something with a great deal of information. No dictionary, if you see dictionary, if you see a great deal of information code, no one would say, oh, chance. You would immediately associate a great deal of information with the creator of that. So similarly, what I'm saying is that with the universe, we see a great deal of not only data, we see a great deal of design. Yeah, And the design can be measured objectively. For example, have you heard of the golden ratio? Yeah. Fibonacci spiral, Fibonacci's ratio, symmetry, say butterflies, and you know, you see all of these things. These are objective beauty standards that we can see. And to say that, no, it's chance, chance created it. No, chance is an explanation, or sometimes it's, it's a way out people have. Chance is not a physical creating entity. The, the question of a physical creative entity still stands. Yeah? Okay, so coming back to this point, I, I would also say the necessary existence has an immeasurable amount of power. I'll come back, I haven't forgotten your point by the way, I'm not sidestepping that. It has an immeasurable amount of power. And stay with me here. We get power from that which we depend upon. Yeah, so for example, a toy, it will get its energy from batteries. It depends on those batteries. And that battery has to have enough energy to keep the toy going. And that battery gets its energy from something else, that gets its energy from something else, etc, etc. So we get our, our energy from that which we depend upon. Yeah, so if there's an infinite regress of power, naturally, if everything depends, everything of power, depends on one source, the necessary existence, it, uh, it follows that that thing is also immeasurably powerful. Let me, can I, can I say something? 
I understand what you you're like saying. You like that point. No, I, was, I don't know if I agree, but I, I get what But you you're like saying. that point, though. <laughs> so, can I, can no, I later, inshallah, yeah? Because we've been speaking for a while. We've got disturbed. Five, five minutes. You can, you can speak five later, brother. But this is going to interrupt our flow, inshallah, yeah? Five minutes, I'll come. Oh, please, please. Thank you, brother. Thank you. But yes. don't you think a cause... Don't, don't. Okay, so I want to. Uh, okay, let's yeah. just say creator. Can you use, like? No, no, no. You can use any time you want. Create something that, that can then create something else that no longer depends on me. No. You don't think so. No. So I don't know if I agree. You do. You do. You do. Can I tell you why? Look, because when you when you depend on when you depend on something. That depends on something else. By definition, either you're contingent or you're necessary. What you're saying is, can something dependent give rise to something independent? Philosophically, that is. No, I think I'm saying that it, it might no longer be dependent on me. Like, it's so far removed. But that's what I'm saying. Something that is contingent, philosophically fulfills three criteria. Contingent is something composed of parts. If you're composed of parts, then you're contingent because you are dependent upon that part. If this arm, God forbid, gets removed, I'm dependent on this. I can't function properly. I can't clap. Yeah, because I only have one arm. Yeah, so the, I'm dependent on these parts. So if that thing that you've created either has parts, it can cease to exist and it can be any other way that's contingent. And by definition, it will be dependent. If that thing, you can give me an example of something that is contingent, that gives rise to something necessary, then maybe I can. Yeah. So now it will be interesting to see if you can come up I'll with an example. Think about it. You think about it. Because Anna, I'm telling you, I've been doing this for a while. There is none. This is a, it's a solid argument. Yeah. And it's so simple, Anna. And that's why I want you to keep hitting me back. Because I'm telling you, you can't have an infinite regress of dependent things, contingent things, because all of these contingent things compose of parts, can cease to exist, can be any other way. Yeah, the tree is dependent upon its roots, dependent upon its bark, dependent upon oxygen, is dependent on this. As human beings, we are as well. And then the end of the chain will power, independence, eternality, and also intelligence. Would you say that there's intelligence in the creation that you've seen? Yeah, when we look at objective symmetry, golden ratio, Anna, like, honestly, I thought it would take us less time because when we see beauty, we never, like, you see a canvas, you never say, oh, wow, like, I've seen the weirdest art, and people go, wow, the art is amazing, and they'll appreciate it. But they will never say, oh yeah, yeah, that came by chance. You see the, a portrait of a human being, amazing, fantastic. Mona Lisa, amazing. Wow, I wish she would smile a bit more. Okay, but it's very amazing. She looks pretty. No one would ever say that's created by chance. But the human being, chance. Okay, has chance created anything else? Is chance a creator? Anna, we don't accept that for anything else. No, but it, it, it's not just... Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Let's just say you're at home and then a child, as soon as you enter the kitchen, the child is coming down the stairs with cookie stains on his mouth, with a cookie in his hand. And then you're like, did you take the cookies from the cookie jar? And he goes, no, nah, it was chance. You'd never accept that. What are you doing? You haven't seen him. You haven't done any ev evidence testing. You're using your inference to the best explanation that look, all the evidence is pointing towards him stealing from the cookie jar. When there's so much information, there's so much design, why is it, Anna, that we resort to such frivolities? But it's not that I would say it's chance, it's that I would say it, it was just the necessary causation. Necessary being, a uh, necessary existence. Yeah, but it's not that I think it was like with the will, as you were saying. Okay, you know so what I mean? I, like I don't think it's like complete chance that humans are here because it. Was let me unpack the will all thing. based on previous causes, like the fact that the Earth was a certain temperature and all of these things, like all of these other factors. So it's not that it's totally random. Let me un unpack the will thing a little bit. So I, I gave the example. After this, I'm gonna have to leave you because no I just problem. left my friend. Uh, I just abandoned him. Oh man. <laughs>
Okay, now thank you for your time as well. Um, so let me know when you have to go. So yeah. when it comes to will, if, for example, you have colors and you have shapes, let's just say you've got blocks and you have a block which is too blue, too white, too blue. Yeah? Sorry, I'm fasting, that's why. Thank you, thank you. So too blue, too white. Is that your friend, yeah? No, no. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so, sorry, no, no, no problem. No, it's because I just told them about my friend, but anyways. Yeah, she so, just... So I think she has to go. That's why we thought you were the friend. That's why she has to go. So you got too blue, too white, too blue. That shows that a person or an individual has made a conscious choice of picking a blue block. Then a blue block, a white block, a white. When you have certain options, white, blue, red, and when blue and white is there, that means a will. That's, that's indicative of a will. A choice has been made out of all of the colors, blue. Out of all of the colors, white. Out of all of the shapes, the square. Out of all of the shapes, another square. So this, again, is indicative of a will. A choice has been made that we are one way and not another way. That we could have been another way. That means a choice has been made with regards to us, with regards to what's around. So the inference to the best explanation is that it necessitates or it's logical to assume that there is a will and it wasn't done randomly, it wasn't done uh, for no reason or no purpose whatsoever. And if we then take this further and we say, look, it's logical to assume that there is intelligence because of the complexity, because of the precision that we're seeing, because of the design that we're seeing in terms of symmetry and stuff like that, I would say it's logical to assume that this necessary existence has intelligence as well. And it has wisdom. And it's unbefitting of wisdom to, to create things for no reason whatsoever. To just leave it just in the middle of space on a ball, just doing whatever. That's not indicative of an existence which is both intelligent, wise, powerful. That's the case, Anna, that, that I've presented today. I'm respectful of your time as well, that, you know, your, your friend is there as well. I would love to continue this, I know. but I don't Maybe want to... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be here next week if you do want to come. Well, it's lovely speaking. Likewise, likewise, Anna. Take care, and I'll be here. Think about this. You have the book as well. I will. And, uh, I will. I'll be here. I'll Thank you. It. Nice Thank to meet you, you Anna. Do I have to get do I have the microphone? Yeah. What's up, you then? What's up? Sorry? Are you religious? Are you? No, I'm not religious. I'm You're interested in it? Yeah. I'm interested in it. Four minutes. Okay. It's lovely meeting you. Lovely meeting you. Take care. Take care. What's up, you then? Sorry, I'm a Muslim. Uh, yes, iftar, uh, breaking fast. We're not eating. Yeah, pack up, pack up. Yeah. Uh -huh, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take what you like, sir. Yeah, this is all for uncle. Yeah. Uncle. Is this somebody's? Look what Uncle Gibbs said me, bro. What's check, that? Check it out. Where is it? Give me that, bro.